Welcome to our daily Forex market analysis and this is for trading on December the 20th, 2019. Just a quick disclaimer here before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with your money. As uh, usual here, we'll get started with our Forex factory calendar here. Uh, in terms of the data, we had monetary policy here, statement from UK, nothing has changed, everything was kept the way it was. And US data here came in below expectations, so we saw um, US dollar didn't do so well today. Coming up here on Friday, we have um, a bunch of data here. First of all, we have current account numbers for um, UK here, so this will have an impact on British pound. Um, right now, we are looking at a deficit. So if the deficit is larger than what is um, forecasted here, we're likely to have a negative impact um, on a British pound there. We also have GDP numbers coming out for uh, British pound here. Again, if they come in below expectations, we're likely to see a negative impact. Now, for our um, for uh, pound here, there is a parliamentary vote. So the MPs are going to vote on a Brexit vote here. So this is the withdrawal agreement um, and the uh, UK is to leave European Union on January 31st. So expect volatility in a British pound tomorrow. So just be careful around that. So this comes um, in at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time, so keep that in mind. Other than that, we have core retail sales number here for Canada. Again, if they come in below expectations, we're likely to see a negative impact on the Canadian dollar, which means dollar CAD could go up as a result. We also have quarterly GDP numbers for the US. If the numbers are again negative, like we saw negative numbers come in today, we could see um, US dollar drop further. So there's a whole bunch of um, US data coming out again. If the numbers are like they were today, below expectations, we're likely to see US dollar drop, especially this uh, consumer sentiment numbers here. So that's it in terms of our news. So let's take a look at um, what's going on in the markets. We'll take a look at the charts. So in terms of the Euro dollar here, price is still trading in a range where we saw price pull back here like we were expecting it to yesterday and now it has dropped from there. At this point, right now, it is still trading in this range here. So we do need to see price break through the support for it to continue lower. Bias is still to the downside. So in this case, we could get a pullback potentially into 1.1120 or even into 1.1140. So both of these uh, levels here would be good levels for pullback and then looking for a drop here. The important thing though is for this one to continue lower, we do need to see a break below the support level here. If it does not break, then it can go back into this range uh, and back into this 1180 number. But should we see a drop here, then I will look for a continuation to the downside. So right now, price has been making a lower high. So if you take a look at it, um, every day for the last three days, price has made a lower high, which suggests the momentum is still to the downside. But again, for it to really come through here, we do need to see a break below 1.1110 um, here, or even 1.1110 uh, here. So that's where price needs to drop through for it to continue lower. Next target here is 1.1070. And then should it continue on, we're looking at 1.1050. So overall here, bias is to the downside. Pound dollar here, we were looking for a drop here. We got that drop, bias is still to the downside. Now keep in mind, there is parliamentary vote coming out tomorrow uh, that will have an impact on the um, on uh, British pound here. So expect volatility, but in terms of the technicals here, this is what I'm looking for. Basically, uh, we could see a pullback into 1.3050, and if it holds below that, I'm looking for a drop into the next level, 1.2950. So overall bias here for pound dollar is still to the downside, so bearish bias. Aussie dollar here, this one has gone up. So um, right now, we are into resistance, but this is looking bullish, so we have uh, a big bullish candle close here, so Morningstar 
uh, trade setup here looking for price to continue higher. So this one could go further. Now there is support resistance right into 0 0.6900. So for this one to continue, it does need to go through that. But overall bias is to the downside and target here is 0 0.6930. Uh, but just keep in mind, if it doesn't go through, this one could turn around. Uh, but for now, bias is uh, bullish though, looking for it to go further. So this one could continue on like that into the resistance level here. Uh, so just keep in mind the resistance at 0 0.6900. 0 .6900. So bullish bias here for Aussie dollar. New Zealand dollar, this has been bullish as well. Price is still trading in the range, but it is pushing into the high of the range. So this one could go further once it crosses this resistance here into 0 0.6635. So bias here is bullish for New Zealand dollar. Dollar CAD here, this one has pulled back a bit here um, and hasn't quite dropped. So it is into support resistance level. At this point, I am neutral on this one. So if price stays below 1.3140, then I will look for a move lower. However, should it go through today's high, then I'm looking for price to continue higher, in which case it could go into 1.3160, all the way into 1.3180 here. So the key level would be the high of today. If it stays below, we could see a drop, but if it goes through, this one could go higher. All right, then looking at our commodities, silver here. Silver is pushing into the resistance here. It's been kind of um, hugging this for a number of days now. And at this point, um, we could see it break through. So keep that in mind. It is pushing into this resistance, um, hasn't managed to break it yet, but it could break through it. Uh, when we see that price hugs a level for a number of days, Either it's going to collapse or it goes through it. So it hasn't collapsed yet, which means um, should it break, it could really move up, move to the upside. So right now, bias is um, uh, bias is still neutral. As long as it stays below 17.10, it's neutral. But as soon as it moves to the other side, I would look for a further move here into 17.30 and then we could potentially go all the way into 17.65. So bias here is neutral, but watch out for a potential move to the upside. And the target is 17.30 and then 17 point, sorry, 17.30 and 17.60. So um, watch out for that. Gold here, gold is also um, hugging this resistance, it's putting pressure into it, um, and we could see it um, go through this one. Um, so bias here is to the upside. And if it um, and if it holds above 1481, next target is 1494. So bullish bias here for gold. Oil here, um, oil still giving us those pins here. So overall bias is still pushing to the upside, but it doesn't, it's not making higher highs at this point. So at this point, uh, we could see a reversal coming. Right now, bias is neutral. So I will look for a retest of the high. And if it doesn't, then if it doesn't break through, we could see this one reverse. So right now I'm looking for 61.50. And if it holds below that, it could move back towards 60. Now, should it go through 61.50, then we're looking at 62.40 as the next target. For now though, um, it's still looking bullish. We could go into 61.50, so that's what I would look for. Um, bullish with caution though. Copper here, copper's finally, um, copper went up here. It is into resistance here, uh, but it is looking bullish. So. Uh, we just have to wait for it to go to the other side here, two point, uh, other side of 2.78. Should it hold above, we're looking for 2.81 and then potentially into 2.83. So right now, uh, bias is bullish for copper as well. Bitcoin here. Bitcoin, we have a pin bar here. So looking for price to drop, we could see a move back towards 6,500. 
So bias here is bearish for Bitcoin. S&P 500 still pushing through here. It has moved to the other side here at this point. Um, I would be careful with this one here. It is pushing through, um, but we could, um, we could see things turn. Uh, so keep an eye on it. Right now, a bias is bullish. Next target is 32.20 and then 32.40 uh, above that. What I would look for is a pullback. So if price holds above 3,200, we could see it uh, go into 3,220 and then potentially into 3,240. But if it goes back down below 3,200, we could also see a decline. Uh, so bullish bias, but with caution here. NASDAQ, NASDAQ is pushing higher. So this one also, it, it kind of went into this uh, next level we had talked about, 86.50, looking quite bullish here. And 8,700 is the next one I would look at. Uh, but the move here is not looking too solid. So I would just be careful. Um, it is low liquidity time. And as I've uh, spoken before, during low liquidity times, sometimes we see that things will just keep on going. Um, so that may be the case here as well. Um, that's why we have to be careful. I will look for a bit, bit of a pullback here and then a continuation. Bias is bullish here for NASDAQ. Um, this one here, Dow Jones has gone through as well. It went through the resistance. We do have a bullish bias here now. Uh, 28,500 is the next target. Um, I will look for a pullback, first of all, into uh, 28,340. So looking for a pullback here, and if it holds above um, that previous resistance level, I would look for price to continue further. So here, 28,340 is the pullback level, and if it holds above, I'm looking for 28,500. Now, if it comes back into this range here, it could drop towards 28,000. So, so bias is bullish but with caution here. DAX here, DAX is back still into this range. We did see price drop and then it pulled back here. Uh, this one could go back towards the top of the range here. And then if it holds below, it can come back again. So target here is 13,300 for DAX. FTSE here going um, through it, bias is still bullish here. Uh, 7,600 is the first target, and then we have 7,620 as the second target. So bias here is bullish for FTSE. Nikkei here, and Nikkei has a neutral candle close for the day. It is uh, pushing lower right now, uh, but bias is neutral. So in this case, if it doesn't break the support at 23,780, if it holds above, this one could still continue higher. Um, and we could see this type of a move. So this support resistance level at 23,780 is very, very important. So keep this in mind. If it holds above, we could see a move higher. However, if it does break through here, then there is room all the way into 23,300. So right now, the important level to watch will be 23,780. And this is where we need to see what the price reaction is. If it drops, there is a lot of room to the downside for it to drop. In that case, first target would be 23,600. Second target, 23,300. But if it doesn't drop, I would look for a move all the way into 24,160. For now, bias is neutral here for Nikkei. All right, so that's all we have. Um, and just want to say that this is our last market analysis for this year, for 2019. I'll be taking some time off here over the holidays um, next week. And then um, next time I will be back um, at the beginning of the year. So taking some time off all the way for the next two weeks, essentially, I'll be back on January the 5th with our weekly analysis and then back into trading the following week here. So you guys have a wonderful holiday season and I will see you in the new year. Bye for now.